Good kitten internet, and welcome back to Archer Force 2, my Shining Force 2 randomizer run. Uh, how are you? Um, I had to merge the previous video, so I set that up, and then went to go lay down for a bit, and the moment my head hit my pillow, I fell asleep with, and immediately started dreaming. Um, immediately when I woke up, I counted... 30 separate dreams that I remembered. At this point, it's down to zero. That's fairly typical. But it was a very nice nap, which means I'm a lot more awake and refreshed than I was before. So, um, something I wanted to talk about before we started actually playing was our melee character situation, which is why up above, I'm currently filtered on melee characters. Um, also, I want to talk about the differences between a Baron and a Red Baron, at least the non-spoiler difference. Uh, so, I popped open the Shining Force 2 editor that I've been using, uh, SF2 edit. Um, for reference, I opened up the base ROM of Shining Force 2, not Archer Force 2, so that way I have zero chance of spoiling myself. Anyway, these are the two classes. Red Baron's the one on the left, and Regular Baron's the one on the right. Or, I should alternate my hands because it's mirror image to me. Um, as you can tell, these are the stats that a various class has that the editor's been able to find in the code, and the only real difference is right here, the critical attack. Oh, you actually can't see my mouse cursor. Interesting. Oh, there, now you can. So the critical attack chance. So Red Barons, or counterattack, not critical attack. Uh, Red Barons have a one out of eight chance of countering, whereas regular Barons have one out of 16. I bet this is probably a bug rather than intentional, because I'm pretty sure the only difference between Barons and Red Barons is the spoiler. So I wanted to show that, hide that because I don't want that visible um, so we have the force directly above my head all of the melee characters of the force as of their current levels um, yeah so we've got a bit of a situation namely we have a defense problem take a look at what Bowie's defense is it's 41 not only is it lowest out of any of the melee characters in the force, it's even lower than the other bird who's three levels lower. This is a problem. In fact, I'm pretty certain that's actually high stat for uh, Karn of the Bird Brain. Um, Higgins is not exactly great on defense either, but again, three levels lower. And I bet Higgins' defense would probably be increasing by 1 to 2 a level, instead of Bowie's that increases 0 to 1. Um, I also made sure to add in Jaro, who we decided sucked. Um, his hit points is not 5. It's not that bad. That must be a typo. Yeah, Jaro's hit points is 58, not 25. Anyway. Um, and also Gaian. Gaian's our newest character. Gaian the Red Baron. Um, oh, he actually has a crappier weapon. Let's go fix that. I don't know what we can buy weapon-wise here. I think this might be the last weapon shop in the game that matters. Oh, that's the item shop. Okay. Um, so, I've got a great axe, or I have a great sword. I'm, I know that the great sword is better. I'm not actually going to buy it. Okay, so it's actually 70 attack. It's not a significant difference, but it's something to be aware of. Because I'm trying to do apples to apples comparisons on everybody. So, um... Yeah, there's no difference anywhere else, right? Oh, no. Well, Um... Go ahead and throw it on Kazin for now. I still need to decide who I'm using power water on, and that's actually the other reason why I wanted to talk about things. Um, let's go ahead and make Kiwi even more awesome with 102 attack. What the hell? Um, go ahead and trade out the power water. I think that might actually be the last... Um, weapon that we buy, come to think of it. There might be another archer weapon. I can't remember now. And I don't feel like looking it up. 
So anyway, um, we still have that mage staff. Which, anytime it says, wow, it's a rare bird, that means it's a unique item. Uh, in this case, it's not that it's unique, it's that it's mithril. Unfortunately, mage staffs are terrible. All you can do with it is cast blaze 2. But, there actually is a use for that. Um, what I need to test is whether the mage staff will actually let you use it on a character that's not capable of equipping it. Because if the mage staff has to be on a... So normally it's only equipable on wizards and sorcerers. If it has to be equipped on a wizard or sorcerer, it's worthless. I mean, yes, it does an extra five points of damage, but why do I care about damage, melee damage on a mage? I care about defense. And the interest staff allows me to steal MP from somebody, so those are win-win. Um, but... If I can use it to cast a spell, that makes it incredibly useful on a melee character. Like, say, for instance, Randolph. Because Blaze 2 has a range of 2, all of his melee attacks have a range of 1. So, that's better. Anyway, as I was saying... Um, oh, yeah. Need to update this to 102. What the hell? Um... Yeah, we have a bit of a problem when it comes to defense. I mean, we've always had this problem. It's the reason why Freya, yeah, he can take two hits because he has gobs of hit points. That should be 67, not 27. There we go. Um, but mm, his defense is still low. And remember, flyers don't have terrain effect. So I could be stashing, say, Luke sitting in a spot such as the one I'm standing in right now is Bowie. Move everybody over. Yeah, this spot. And that would be giving a plus 30% terrain effect, which would increase your effective defense by 30%. So, Luke would have 71 and a half defense at that point, instead of his 55. So, we're losing a huge amount of defense on Bowie. And that's the reason why I didn't want to bring... Uh, Karna in, because Karna, if I joined her to the force, would be the second lowest defense character in the force. Um, barely any different than Freya. Freya has more than 12 XP, right? Yeah, 1361. Freya just joined, which means that his defense might be increasing rapidly. That was my hope. I don't know if I can handle that. I might have to level up the characters again, and it's going to be a while before I do the whole okay, everybody stand back here and level up type of thing again. Um, so, with all that said, I am actually thinking about bringing back in the mage. Um, let's see, go ahead and add in a Sork. So I am thinking about maybe adding back in either Screech or Gerhalt. And let me give you the reasoning as to why. So their defense is garbage. Gerhalt at least has hit points and a really high agility. He will end up going earlier than almost anybody, with the exception of Kiwi, because Kiwi's ludicrously overpowered at this point. Um, Screech, his defense is still higher than Bowie's. That's sad. Um, at the same level. So, as long as those hit points start increasing dramatically, which I looked it up, um, his hit points started at... This is my level 11 cheat, for reference. Uh, Screech. Yeah, his hit points started at 39. So he's gained 6 hit points in 3 levels, which means he's getting 2 hit points a level. So Screech will actually have a decent amount of hit points after he levels up a couple more times. Maybe that means I need to think about keeping Screech as my... I need to level him up a little bit more. But he's already leveled a little bit. Mm. So this is the force as it stands now. Assuming that I make no changes. I think I'll give Freya a little bit longer. But I'm pretty sure Freya's getting the boot. Because I can't deal with even more crappy... Crappy, crappy um, defense. 
Mam was the busiest city, uh, busiest town in Parmesia, but now it's like a ghost town. The arm of Golem suddenly moved a little. How do you get rid of it? So, usually the arm of Golem is over here, and it just moves around randomly. Uh, I don't see it at the moment. I might have to come out and come in multiple times. The priest once told me that golems were made by the ancients. Some golems are bad. Some are good. I want to see a good golem. We'll really miss you, Zink. Look, mystery of Nazca. So by the way, I don't know if you figured out what Nazca is referring to. And here's a hint. The name of the world that Shining Force 2 takes place on is Earth. So yeah, the arm of Gollum loops around. Painting flies? Don't understand that book. Probably just gonna need to exit re enter a few times. There it is. Oh, you found the arm of Golem. Pick it up? Sure! Chester received the arm of Golem. We'll need a, that for later. Needs a strong word, but we'll want that later. It's not going to hurt us to fit later. Okay, we need to use a running pimento and also power water. So, movement. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the movement of our force. Uh, Bowie is the one that used the last running pimento, hence why his movement's eight. Um, Jaha really doesn't need more movement. I don't need to make him more powerful. If I... So one time I played, I gave the running ring and both running pimentos to a master monk, which would put their speed at 11. Their movement stat, I should say, at 11. They were movable to move around for most of the map and kill everything. Yeah, for reference, a master monk can do over 100 points of damage to the final boss. And I've done it. It's kind of disgusting. Giving it to Luke is not a bad idea, because Luke's a melee character that needs a lot of mobility, and he likes being in the right spot at the right time. Giving it to the Vicar is also a good idea, even if this Vicar's spells are... Uh, not the greatest. Oops. Elric. Right, Elric actually has the power ring. I need to remember that. There we go. Because I adjust the stats assuming that they're not wearing any rings, because those can be moved around. Although, it's probably going to be a long time before anybody but Elric wears that power ring, given how low his attack is. I mean, his attack is about the same as Jaha, and Jaha is a wizard. And Rick's the only member of the party with a lower attack at this point. Uh, although, giving it to Freya would not be a terrible plan. Anyway. Uh, Karna currently has the quick ring. I forgot to move that. Uh, give quick ring... Uh, who needs agility? So, Freya does. Randolph does. I'm gonna give it to Freya for the time being. Coincidentally, Randolph's also the one with the running ring. Which is not currently equipped, what the heck me? Ugh. Okay, let's go ahead and equip those before I forget again. Randolph. Running ring, please. Thank you. Okay. Um. Yeah. The problem is that I don't know if I'm going to rather have the running pimento on anybody else, so I'm going to use it on Rick. Because I know I'm going to be using Rick. Rick's a healer. I always use healers. I understand this.
Uh, or I can give it to Slade. You know what? I'm going to use it on Slade. Let's quick save to make sure that we don't have yep, movement range enlarged by two. And then power water. All right, give me a moment. I have something on my phone, which is directly below me. Okay, so, who can use more power? Um, well, Elric. Elric's the only character of the party that can use more power. The downside is Elric's also the member of the party that I'd probably drop if I had to. Eh. It's boosted by two. No. What happens if we boost somebody else? Somebody with only a little bit more power. Say... May. Nope. This is why I haven't used the power water, is because I'm only getting plus two out of it. And that's terrible. Oh well. Let's go ahead and leave. So, we're on the very narrow path journey. Nazca, as in the Nazca lines. Told you, this is on Earth. The geography isn't quite right because, um, yeah, water's not that close on each side, but still, it's the Nazca Lines. Hello, Grand Seal soldiers. Remember, I promised I would see you again. Come on, let's party. Stop! You need my war plan! Again, Gashup. Leave me alone. Yeah, Zeon left me in charge. I just remembered his voice. It doesn't matter if you're killed or not. Then kill me if you've got the guts to do it. I know. Do you want me to be die? That will absolutely be the quote because it's a very famous quote from Shining Force 2. You want me to be die. Up, you coward! I'll kill you first! I have no time to waste. I must go. Silly Camila! You can't survive without my brains! Bowie, did you hear that? He said you would win! He must be a bad fortune teller. We can get a ship and return to Grenz if we defeat her. Bowie, get her! All right, so first thing about this place is that we aren't actually in desert. It looks like we are, we're not. This is actually like the underground cave method. Second thing, yes, this is a boss battle against a greater devil. This is our second greater devil to fight. This is the one that has a heat axe. It's dragon dudes, okay. They have 100 attack, sweet. There's a lot of them. So I think it's a random drop as to whether they drop it or not. Defense 42. That's low defense at least. I was expecting something higher, like that. I mean, luckily, Mudman has crap for movement. Yep, standard Necromancer, Shaman, and Camila. Camila has 99 hit points, 109 attack. Relatively high defense, high agility, high movement. Camille is going to suck, but the main advantage we have is that she's a melee character. Now, she can use her Iron Ball. Using Iron Ball casts Blaze 3, but Blaze 3 doesn't do that much damage. It's only 18. I'm not as concerned about that as I am Camille biffing somebody upside the head with the Iron Ball. Also, the Iron Ball is something that can randomly drop. Um, it is a very low chance. But if you get it, you have the iron ball. Congratulations, nobody can equip it. Personally, I think some characters should be able to equip it. But morning stars don't really match. Or actually, that's a flail. But um, flails don't really match any of the character archetypes other than priests. And that might be a bit overpowered. Oh, 
such is life. And if I was the one to edit the game, I would probably make the Iron Ball equippable. In fact, I'm thinking about adding that to my randomizer, is making Iron Ball and the Talos Sword equippable. Not that they drop very often, as you can tell from me not having the Talos Sword. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pause this for a moment because I need something to drink pretty badly. Boop. Okay. Um, just needed to do some uploading and so on. And wow, I already spent 20 minutes prior to the start of this video getting off to a great start if I do say so myself. So let's spread the good word before we do anything else. It's so weird seeing three digits. So normally, once you go above two digits, it goes to question mark, question mark. Also, the bars are going to start changing to a different color for MP and HP. So right now, it's solid white because that's the length of the bar. It's 100 long. Once we go to, say, 105, you'll see 5% of the bar be green. I think green was, yeah, green's the one after yellow. And then I think it goes blue, then black. Or it might be blue, then green again, then black or something like that. I don't remember now. They change colors. Just noticed the weird formation everybody ended up in. Huh. I don't know if I've ever noticed that this battle has a weird formation. So, I'm just trying to spread people out a little bit. Oh yeah, um... Map. Okay. We've got a ways to go before we encounter our first enemies. They're all the way over here. Good to know. So I have plenty of time to spread my wings, so to speak. Expect a lot of bird references. Okay, not really, but, you know. Is that Necromancer the only mage? It is. Okay, so I don't have to worry about area of effect formation. Good to know. Oh my god, I forgot to turn off my... Speakers. Get out my Pegasus Knight. Elric, you can go up there. So what I'm basically doing is setting up a diagonal formation. And then I'm going to march the diagonal formation up into the left. roughly too deep. So yeah, like this. So you'll see that there's roughly two characters on each of them. Um, all the ones in front are the higher defense members of the force and are melee characters. Uh, Freya being the sole exception because I kind of ran out of space. Um, although... Kiwi actually has higher defense. Maybe I'll have Kiwi up in front instead. Anyway, I'll, I can adjust as we go. In fact, yeah, I'm going to adjust now. So yeah, you'll notice that the lines themselves have a 15% land effect. The dirt has a 10%. You are now going to be support in the back. Okay, how close are you anyway? So your movement's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I've got a long ways to go before I reach them. Got it. So the importance of formation is the fact that it means that I don't have, uh, let's see, your defense is 64, you're actually on the highest end, oddly enough. So yeah, you can go ahead and be in front too, Jaha. Okay, this time we're going to be marching up twice. Yeah, Bowie's is definitely the lowest defense of the force over here. Maybe I should actually... Um, move, pull Bowie back instead, now that I think about it. So yeah, beginning part of this battle is very slow. There's actually one battle that's even slower a bit later on. Okay, now let's double check ranges. Seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, if I move forward twice, I'm going to encounter enemy. Your movement speed's five. One, two, three, four, five. If I move forward twice, I'm going to encounter enemy. Your movement is six. Four, five, six. If I move forward twice, I won't encounter enemy. Okay. I'm going to move up two more. Yep, you are now going to be behind. Uh, I'm going to just put you there. That's what I was expecting to have happen. Jaha has a reasonable defense, so that's fine. Yep. Cerberus can't attack this turn, so we're good there. So if Elric did 30 damage at 67 attack, Bowie should do an extra 8-ish points of damage, that should be fine. I'm going to actually move Randolph up 4 this time. We're going to shorten the lines a little bit. This is fine, though. Because, um, they can only get one attack off. They only have one ranged character in there. Chester some healing. Nice part about this style of formation is that my healers can reach pretty much anybody. You leveled up again. Sweet. You're not quite high enough level to start getting new spells again, but you're getting close. That should be lethal. Or would be if I can freaking hit. Yeah, let's go ahead and Apollo. 
Oh wait, no, Cerberus are strong against fire. Ah, uh, that was foolish of me. Oh well. Okay, a little concerned about Jaha now. I'm actually more concerned about Chester. Okay. I could pull that. That wouldn't quite be lethal, and I need to make sure that this particular character right here dies. Die? Oh, damn it. I didn't think about the fact that that's also not quite lethal. Yep, don't have a choice. Slade will have to do it. I just received a comment on the video that went up today. Hmm, level up, nice. be stabbed to death. You have been stabbed to death. Congratulations. And Janet needed it badly. HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. Okay. Let's take a look at the next thing that I'm going to be fighting, which is just a dragon newt. So the thing about the Heat Axe is that Heat Axes can be used for Blaze 2, if I remember correctly. And the enemies absolutely can use it and will not suffer from the and the Heat Axe has been cracked type of situation. It's a great deal for them, not so great for me. We should get back into formation, although it's now possible to get area of affected, but to be honest, the heat axe area of effect is not something I'm concerned about. Just bringing everybody back up. Forming the line there. Who actually still needs healing? Uh, Jaha needs healing, that's right. Which means... I'll just keep Kiwi back a bit. It'll be fine. Uh, yeah, no, you can use a heal three. That'll work. Let's get our boost on. Did I actually hit almost all of Archer Force 2 with boost? Yep, all but one of Archer Force. Nice. You're going to be flying way far away at this point. I want Bowie in range, but I don't want Bowie to, you know, get hit. Heal two, finish up Chester's healing. Freya, you need to stand back a bit. Yep, I have definitely gotten the attention of that Dragon Newt. Chester, move up as much as you can. I have a bit of a break in formation, so it's a little harder to move up. Uh, it's time to start snipping. Decent hit. I want to make sure that the person who kills a dragon has inventory space. I forgot to clear out my inventories for everybody first. How am I doing on that anyway? Not Chester. Not Randolph. Oh right, I want to check to see if I can even use that on Randolph. But not Chester or Randolph, that's not too bad.
Let's see if I get it. Nope. Drat. Nope, can't use Mage Staff. Does it actually have to be equipped? Let's find out. We'll give the Mage Staff over to Jaha, who's definitely a wizard. Yep. So Mage Staff is worthless. Give some boost. Is there anybody actually injured at this point? Jaha minorly. Yeah, not really. Just heal yourself. It'll be fine. Bolt 2! I have good area of effect on a healer! What the hell? Uh, you know what? Just stay here for the time being. I'm a little too close to the enemies to break formation too much. You're actually up front. You go way out there. You can go there. Chester, you can rejoin the force a little bit. That's a perfectly cromulent spot for you. Freya, you can go there. Randolph, go back to where you were. closer. See, if I went out to go reach the golem, then I have to deal with all of this mess at once. Whereas staying put, I'm relatively safe. Tactics. Believe it or not, despite all of my efforts at recording this and proving that I don't have them, I actually do have them. A little closer, golem. Just a little bit. And you came a little closer. You came a little closer. Your movement speed is four. One, two, three, four. You can't quite reach me. One, two, three, four. Yeah. I think it's going to be another round of staying still. There we go. That's close enough. Let's go ahead and boost. Ooh, level up. I think I'm starting to approach the levels where I might actually get spells again. Punch to the face. Weaken it a little. A little, I said, Kiwi. I know you have over 100 attacks. Stop rubbing it in. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I'm safe to attack. But we need some more kills after all. But we leveled up. At least my defense increased. Not by much. Um, you're still... Four. You're still pretty far away. I 
think I'm going to just stay in formation for everybody else for the time being. There's a reason why I'm heavily using fast forward. This battle's a long battle. Okay. Now it's time to start fighting. Fourteen versus what was that? Fifty? Forty-nine from Sarah. Ugh. Ridiculous. I know that it's on a high terrain effect spot, but come on. Hmm. Didn't leveled up. HP one, attack one, defense one, agility one. Ugh. Not the greatest level up. Preach the good word some more. Nobody, no, nobody's been hit. I don't think that'll kill the mud man. No. Mud man's going twice and or Janet's going again. I really need Freya to go. I think my boost might have screwed that up. So there's a bit of it boost and increasing agility gets a little glitchy in Shining Force 2. And I have a hunch I may have just messed that up. I'm gonna save state because I don't want that mud man to start attacking everybody. Um, let's take a look at our force and I'll bring back up the spreadsheet. Oops, not Shining Force 2 edit. Excel, there we go. Okay, um, let's see who needs XP and who doesn't. You're at 15.03, 14.49, 15.04, 15.05, Point oh nine, 17.47, 13.48. I'm pretty sure May does need the XP. Six, seven, 16, 4, 3, 4, 13.6, 13.75, 14.15, 13.61. Okay. Uh, yeah, May actually does need the XP. So I will give it to May. Maze very close to leveling. That's um, 13.97. And yes, believe it or not, I actually do math like that. My brain's really good at figuring numbers out. Frey is so slow. I think that might be part of the problem. Frey is down at the bottom of the pack with the rest of those scoopers. Oh, I didn't realize I was in range. Went after Luke, too. Interesting. I only hit him for 18, but sure. Maybe it was terrain effect. Snip. Boom. Snip. You get so much XP, though. Um, just hang tight. Uh, Elric is one of the ones that I should not be attacking with right now. Yep, I was expecting that. Oof. That's still a lot of damage on Slade. Slade's not on a terrain effect spot, that's part of the reason why. Um, let's go ahead and boost some more. Actually, there's a good chance they're all boosted, aren't they? You're boosted. You're not. You're not. You are. Okay, so two of them aren't. That's fine. There we go. It's the best I can do. He'll increase his defense so he can take another hit more easily. Kiwi. Heal. 
Luke doesn't really need it, Slade does. So Luke can take another hit or two easily. Slade can't. There we go. Luke. Stabbing's time. Um, who else is around? Those goobers up there are my closest. Four. Ooh. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That's a safe spot. The rest aren't. Two attacks. Nice job, Luke. Freya! Well, actually, killing the Bone Knight makes the most sense. Because you can actually do that. Or not! Well, crap. Just to gain another 49 XP with no attack increase again. That's weird. That shouldn't have leveled you up. You must have gained extra XP after the last time I noted. You're 15.16. Janet, it's time for some stabbings. Rather give it to Randolph or May. Yeah, we can give it to Randolph or May. That should be safe. Yeah, Luke is my healing target. I only need to heal two for that. Okay. Bowie is actually overleveled right now. I'm going to keep him there. Slade is overleveled right now. Although not by as much. Just going to stay. May definitely needs the XP. Fourteen HP two attack one. Okay, this is a good level up then. Ugh, so hard to get good archers these days. I mean, they're so plentiful and all, but come on. Uh, Fourteen point four six. Alright. That means I only have two level 13 characters left. One of them's Randolph. And the other one's Freya that does, does next to nothing in damage. You know what? Let's fix that. It only increases it by 13. Ugh. Yep, that's what I wanted to have happen. Ooh, belching out flames. You know, on Randolph, that might have actually done more damage than an attack. really like to do boost starting there, but boost one has such a limited range that that doesn't work very well. One moment.
in a little bit. I said a little. That was a double crit from Luke. Thanks, game. I guess Luke's leveling to 16. HP 2, MP 2. No attack. Defense 2, agility 2. Eh, not great. I was trying to weaken it, Luke. 16.30. Ah, <sighs> Luke is nearly the highest level member of the par Luke is definitely the highest level non, um... Whatchamacallit, uh, non-self-leveling character, that's for sure. Jeez. Who's even injured? There's nobody injured, is there? Yep, just level remnants. Well, you know what? You're not going to cast heal this turn. I did not mean to do that. Uh, there's a way to undo. Where is that at? Menu, undo load state. There we go. Modern emulators are great. In fact, go ahead and create a new save state, just in case. So I could reach out and tag somebody. That sounds like a dumb idea. Uh, actually, staying right here sounds like a great idea. Yep. That's what I wanted you to do. Ah! Uh, oh! Your defense is 65. Ah! Oh! And I actually can't get you with a boost, so... Heal you up as much as possible. Yep, stand right there, Chester. Yeah, unfortunately, the Mad Man's on a Nazca line right now, so they actually have good defense. Nope, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well. Save state because this might be a really bad idea. It probably is. Yep, that, that was a bad idea. in the lower level range, but I really need to get Freya and Randolph to have kills. That is absolutely in Freya's damage range. There we go. HP 2. Attack 1. Defense 2. Agility 2. Ah, uh, it's not the worst. It's not the best either. Uh, you're boosted right now, so I'm not going to take your stats, but... 18.16. Oops. Too far. There we go. Uh... That's just asking to get killed, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, it is. Oh, 
That's kind of what I wanted you to do, actually. You hit me for seven. I think I can take that one. How far down are you? You're down to 39. You have 42 defense. I've got 81 attack. I'm expected to do 39 damage-ish. But there's terrain effect. I can't do you enough. On the other hand, there's no terrain effect against Pegasus Knights. Okay, level up. Looks like another two to almost all the things. I'm fine. Okay. Uh, you're at 1402. Alright. Lowest levels now are level 14s, of which I have five of them. That's not too bad. That would probably kill them. Instead, let's go preach. Um, yep, heal one's fine. Ninja. Actually... Yeah, the only folks left are up above. This is actually safe fish for me to do. Attack. Okay, good. One attack. That's what I wanted. One. Um, out of range for any of them, but I'm not out of range for any of these goobers. You're level 15, so I'm going to soften up. You're level 14. I'm gonna kill. Kill. Nice. Thicker. You're down inked. That's the best that I have. Yeah. Might as well. And then stabbing's time to finish off the Pegasus Knight. Stabs. My neck's hurting quite a bit today. Probably due to the way I collapsed on my bed was not exactly a great position for my neck. More water. One moment. There we go. Hawking. I can't reach Jack Squat. Um, your movement's six. And yes, I know that their movement's more restricted than this. I make the assumption that they have zero restricted movement. Just because I can't necessarily predict when I'm going to have somebody who doesn't have restricted movement when they probably should. Like Camilla, for an example. Camilla probably should have restricted movement, but doesn't. Okay. There's the heat axe. Like I said, it's just Blaze 2. It's not really that much damage. How heavily injured are you? 31. I don't think I can kill... But let's try it. So this is the thing that you do when it comes to Pegasus Knights, is that you switch up their equipment frequently. So this is a lance instead. Does more damage, but it's shorter range. Yep, attack expires at that point. Um... Mm -hmm. Janet's actually somebody I should finish people off with. Maybe this is going to be the last one that I do of tonight. 
freeze, sucker. Um... Yeah. Ooh, level up. Plus three hit points. Dang. It's newts. It's newts. Alright, who do I even have left at this point? Is it just Camilla and her gang? Yeah, and the one dragon newt. IW Dragon Newt Gingrich. That should be lethal. Yep. Get as much XP into Freya as possible to make Freya not suck as bad. Alright. We only have magic e types left. Mila's running away. That's actually fairly typical for her AI um, script. I'm actually going to let... Um, which one call it? Uh, Sarah, take care of that one, just because. Point. Trying to lure the mage out. Camilla does get to go twice. That's the downside, because boss. Yes, that's what I wanted you to do. Especially since Blast is a terrible spell. Level up. HP2, MP2. Plus one to the rest. Ooh. Boost level two! <sighs> um. Yeah. Kiwi actually is kind of low on MP at this point. Little concerning. Uh, I'm gonna stop healing with Kiwi for a bit. Outside of times that we needed, of course. Stabbing's time! Stabs. Counterattack! Who drains my MP? I didn't realize the AI could do that! Yeah, you've got a Wish Staff. That's what Wish Staff does, if I remember right, is that it allows you to drain MP just like the other staff that I have. Um... That's not good. I was kind of not expecting that. Um, oh, my ear. Camila, your range is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you could definitely hit with a second attack. That's not going to be enough damage, is it? Yeah. Freya's attack is only like 68 or 69. So, that, oops, did not mean to go all the way back means equip chuck chuck Bonk. uh ninja is just going to go here and stay yep that should get camilla's attention all right six one two three four five six Okay, Camilla can use her attack. And it's a little bit of a waste, but it's fine. Oh, or not. They were dodging. Ooh, Janet needs healing. But Janet also needs XP, so. Oh, I got the Wish Staff, though. That's nice. I can definitely use that Wish Staff. Uh, how are we doing on time? We're already over an hour. And I've been fast-forwarding a lot. Uh, that's gonna hurt a bit. Luckily, they're high hit point characters. Yeah. 
Yeah, Bowie actually does need to heal three. Because I can't predict when Sheila is going to hit twice with uh, go twice in a row. So I need to make sure Bowie stays up at full. As much as that hurts. Necromancer, meet boom. Boom, bonk. You gotta have fun with the sound effects, right? Camila. Okay, you're retreating a little bit. That makes things easier. So that means it's time for stabbings. Happy stabbings, Eve! It's stabbings day! Hooray, dead. Randolph gets XP. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and... Update our stats on level and XP. That's sixteen. Dang it, me. Okay, that's our current. We only have a boss left. Camille is gonna suck to fight. Which means... I have boost two! It wasn't blast two, it was boost two. Oh, thank random deities. This just became a whole heck of a lot easier. Okay. In that case, I need to be at the center of attention. I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people there. I can get five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. I'd rather get those seven. Boost two is deity level. It doesn't do any more boosting. It's the fact that it hits such a large area. get to hear the full music this time. You don't get to hear this theme for the end of it very often, do you? It also gives you 25 XP pretty much every time you cast it. Okay, who needs healing? Janet can use healing. Luke needs healing more, though. Janet, um, yep, up here is fine. Camille's gonna come to me, I know that. All right, you're now within six. There. Okay. So you can attack those three at the point. Actually, standing right there probably makes the most sense. Bowie, you're going to fly up way high, because Camille is going to go after you. Let's get everybody on the land effect that we can, because Camilla hurts. Um, Janet can use some healing. And hey, if I taunt Camilla into using magic instead of using her attack, all the better. Not as concerned about healing Freya. All right. That's what Camilla looks like, by the way. Hit for 21. Randolph counterattack. 15. Randolph leveled up. That's nice. Now it's time to start piling on Camilla. May leveled up. 
Speaking of, let's just update theirs right now. May's at 15.03. And Randolph is at 15.06. Okay. Frey is the only level 14 left. That's fine. And it's not by much. Though at this rate, Freya is not going to level up this battle. Um, Freya, you boosted? Yeah, okay. Um, you know what, Jaha, just stay up there. It is appropriate for Bowie to kill, but... I'm actually wanting to get Freya to leave, uh, land the last blow. Although, probably gonna kill Ulrich. That was a crit for 74. Oh well. Not much I can do about that. my last auto save not that far back okay i'm just going to not do that there's a reason why i'm doing that it's because it's going to be annoying otherwise all right camilla found 999 gold uh, oh wait i lost Take this. Camilla reveals the sky orb. Do you remember the sky orb from way back? The sky orb was the thing that um, Passeran from Ribble had. Was it Passeran? One of the people from Ribble had and went through that portal, locking the portal behind them. This is what they actually had. This is the sky orb. With it, you can drive the Nazca ship. Listen, you have to be very careful from now on. Geshep has prism flowers. He will... Your life is over, Camilla. Geshep! Yeah, you acted just as I planned. Yeah, so Geshep just burned Camilla alive. Camilla was actually still alive at this point. She was planning on giving up. You have to realize, just because you're a greater devil doesn't make you inherently evil. You're probably evil, but that doesn't mean you can't turn over a new leaf. We have an example of that. We had Creed. Creed is a retired greater devil. So, it's one nice unexpected thing about the Shining Force universe is that they actually thought about that. Um... A lot of fantasy settings are just now starting to get into that concept. Things like not all orcs are evil and so on. It's a big thing in my campaign setting for that matter. How oh, horrible. It's the law. Traders die by fire. Congratulations, you have a ship now. Come to Grands. So I'm going to actually stop this here, even though I can't make a real save, because this has gone on for an hour and 15 minutes. And I want to make sure you see this entire sequence. Hope you've enjoyed it, Annette. I'll talk to you next time. Oh, yeah. Safe state. Boop.